Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Black Clover anime review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. So, you thought I was going to forget about the episode again? No, I wasn't. I actually really, really enjoyed this episode. So, I'm very happy with the outcome of it. So, I got my notes here because we got a lot of information and some crazy information we got in this episode as well. So, things are going in the right direction. Last week's episode, this week's episode, love it. I love training arcs. I am fine with them. Give us training, training, training instead of uh, those comedy filler episodes, right? You're like, I'd rather have training arcs than, than uh, you know, other type of episodes because you still could put comedy like in this episode uh, where we got Charmy sitting in Queen Laura Pechka's lap eating and she's getting fed like um food and stuff like apples and things like that i'm like bruh like charmy and then they were asking uh queen laura Rupechka, isn't that charmy and you're like yeah this is charmy i'm like what like that is the queen of the heart kingdom and charmy's just on her lap eating food and not only that charmy does not only do that she eats all the food reserves in the in the heart kingdom castle all the food and then she goes to the forest it's like oh i'm looking for more food now i love eating food but charmy's on another level she she over here trying to compete with son goku from dragon ball franchise and yeah i don't blame her the food is delicious she heard about that juice that gets sweeter with your mana she oh no i gotta i gotta go there right and i'm happy she's there because she is one of my favorite characters in black clover i really appreciate her in the episode she definitely adds comedic touch to the episode not only that when we see her uh, we see her a lot of the time in her chibi version and while other characters like normal she's in her little chibi version which is hilarious now in this episode, it was interesting that Riddle didn't really really recognize Charmy. Uh, maybe because she looked different, because we do know when Riddle was possessed by the elf in that art, basically Charmy used like this new spell or something new and she became even stronger. She had she looked a little bit different, right? So I guess that's why Riddle didn't recognize her, but he does know that she is the girl from the Black Bulls, uh, which you know she she's hilarious, right? But the big revelation in this episode, as I have written here, is Maggie Kula has possession of somebody's body. Whose body? The mage Vanica. So we got more information about Maggie Kula after all this time. We didn't know Maggie Kula was in the uh, Spade Kingdom. Now we know that Maggie Kula has possession of the mage Vanica. So it might be something like the Asta situation where Asta has a devil in his grimoire. But however, in this situation, it could be like Maggie Kula literally has control of the body of Vanica. And not only that, we also got that Laura Peshka and Undine actually fought against Vanica, but their powers were not enough. And I guess that's when they got cursed. Well, when Laura Peshka got cursed when she fought against Vanica and Vanica defeated her and cursed her, where maybe she didn't kill her. She said, oh, you have it cursed and you'll die maybe whatever in, in some time. In due time, you will die on your own, right? And you will be living like your life while thinking, oh man, how much time do I have left now? Which is kind of a fate worse than death because you're still going to die and fast, but you don't know when exactly you will die. So yeah, that that is a fate wor uh, worse than death in my personal opinion. Uh, we got that silhouette of Vanica and then Meg Kula, the devil, oh man, this is gonna be really awesome. And something interesting as well that Laura Peshka said in this episode is that with the help of Noel, well, with Noel, Nero, Nero, her, and Undine, they have a chance, they have the biggest chance of actually defeating Vanica, which is very interesting because I wonder what type of magic Vanica has and why these, the, uh, this group of four has the best chance of defeating uh, uh, Vanica and Megacula, right? Because Laura Pechka said that yes, we'll defeat Vanica, but then, you know, we still have to defeat Megacula. So maybe after defeating Vanica, maybe Megacula will leave Vanica's body or whatever the case is. We will see what happens. We do know that Noah wants to defeat Megacula because of her mother. Her mother got cursed and she wants to avenge her mother, which is a good thing, right? So yeah. Oh man, all that information that we just got in that little segment of the episode, I was like, yes, we are finally getting some 
uh, into the meat and gravy of things. In this episode, towards the end, we saw Yami. He's, uh, I guess, in one of those, remember those mana places where dangerous areas, territories would just fill with mana? This dude, Yami, over here, um, was talking to Finro, but, you know, he's about to train, too. He's trying to surpass his limits, too. Like, volcanoes erupting everywhere. I'm like, only Yami it, it looks calm, cool, and collective in a place where volcanoes are erupting, right? Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, I almost said Mancou, obviously Mary Leona, like, like, he's about to grow crazy with his training. And there's some stuff I want to, some other stuff I want to talk about. So, yeah, next week's episode looks like we're shifting focus to Yami. I also wanted to talk about Mana Words. That's what the Heart Kingdom uses. And they're teaching the mages from the Clover Kingdom about Mana Words and how to use them. Basically, Mana Words is natural mana, like uh, mana in the natural. Like, Mana Zone, remember how... Basically, with mana zone, when you utilize it, the mana in your surroundings becomes like your own magic, right? So if you're in a, a volcanic area and you have like uh, fire mana, like and you use this fire spell, you could use all the fire, you, you make it your own basically, right? So with the mana words, it's kind of different because yes, you're still using that natural mana, but you're giving it commands. Uh, you're adding commands with the words to your spells. So you can make your spells larger, smaller you could guide them in different directions you can make uh if, like for example magna could hit uh you know the fireballs he hits with his bat and stuff like he could add mana words and make the ball oh, just keep chasing after you which is really cool make the ball really gigantic like there's so many possibilities with mana words and i'm very happy about this uh especially with the spirit guardian of fire floga when he actually tells Le leopold hey, yes, uh, you know, I did this with Mana Words, but you have more potential than, than me. So when you master Mana Words, is basically what he was saying, yeah, you're you're going to be even better at me, uh, have more potential than him, which is really awesome. Now, I already talked about the Charmian Real. They are geniuses, like the Spirit Guardian of Plants, Pol Poltrick said. They are geniuses because they, they could use the Mana Words but they they are lazy with it, like the rails just painting. Oh man, was, a painting became a little better. And then Poltrick's like, just uh, use more of the words. And he's just like, I'm just painting. And then with Charmy, she used the man words to make one of her clouds <laughs> fetch her some apples. I'm like, oh man, they they're very smart though. They're very smart, right? And I also wanted to point out the training uh, session that Asa is having with Ga Gaja, uh, where he basically said you're very narrow when you're fighting and you rely too much on your endurance which is true like he has a very narrow vision like he's just fighting like you know onto the opponent and stuff like that we did see him get better at fighting asa uh with the key that yami taught him all that stuff but he's still very narrow-minded is what gaja was saying and then you know asa in his mind he's like i could take a couple hits which he can't because he trains his body to his fullest potential but, you know, that's not the smart way to fight is what Gadjo was trying to say in this, in this um, training fight that he had. So, yeah, it, it's looking really good. And we got to remember, like in this episode, say Gadget is almost as strong as the Wizard King. Like when Julius was regular 100%, Gadget is almost as strong as the Wizard King. And Asa right now is fighting against him, even with his uh, devil form, you could call it, or anti-magic form. And yeah, guy just still dodging, hitting him with his electricity, uh, magic, and all that stuff, which is really awesome to see. Everybody's getting stronger, like Fenrir said in this episode. Now let's talk about the other spirit guardians. So I already talked about spirit guardian of fire, Floga, and the people that are going to train on the hand right now. It's Leopold. It's supposed to be Magna as well, but Magna opted well didn't opt it out, but he also wants to train where where luck is, right? So he's doing some training with Gaja. Then we have the Spirit Guardian of Wins Murick, and he's training Fenro right now. So Fenro doesn't only rely on his magic to support his friend. Well, he still is a supporter, but in the one-on-one -on -one situation, he's still got to, you know, win at the end of the day. Like, he can't just wait for his friends to save him. That's what Smorick said. So that's going well as as well. But it was kind of disappointing because he, he was expecting, you know, the 
the one that got chosen by the wind spirit even i was like wow this is what i've been good training for you know but i guess like as to say you know could get stronger anywhere he goes which is true you know it's just a genius uh then we have the spirit guardian of plants poltrick i already talked about him so charmy and real are our training under him then we have gadja we which we have asta magna and luck luck is already the the spamming the the man awards because luck is just luck is he's he's not broken but he's, he's just a genius as well then we have the spirit guardian of earth sarado which we have mimosa and charlotte training under sarado which is really awesome and yeah they're all getting stronger hopefully uh, since next week's episode looks like it's going to focus on yami i'm excited for that and maybe the following week's episode might focus more on the training on the heart kingdom now i don't know how how long the training arc is going to be in the heart kingdom to tell you the truth maybe they'll maybe by the end of the year like that last episode they'll be like all oh, their training is done and all this stuff boom and then we get into the spade kingdom stuff the Spade Kingdom invasion, and you know the anime could always take liberties and expand some stuff. Uh, with that's with that, if it's too short in the manga right now or whatever, uh, they could expand, add new villains, whatever they want to do. You know, if Tabata wants to help out with that and, and write some anime original characters and make them kind of canon, then I'll, I'll be completely fine with that. But nevertheless, that's it for this review. I'm gonna give this episode a nine out of ten. Hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.